Hello and welcome to the Apache Shiro security demo. This is from a demonstration that I did at the Utah Java user group uh, about a month ago. And what I'd like to do here is show you how to implement basic authentication as well as form-based authentication and to do SSL redirection and forcing SSL with Apache Shiro. I've also done demos with Java EE6 and Spring Security and you can find those on youtube.com slash mrabel. So to get started, we have this project that I wrote called Ajax Login. And this project is basically from a blog post that I wrote called Ajax Authentication with jQuery, Spring Security, and HTTPS. Pretty simple application, just has a bunch of users that you can sort. Um, basically crud on them. Um, you can also delete them, add them. In this demonstration we're going to take this URL slash users and secure it with basic authentication. So I'll turn to IntelliJ, <clears throat> open up WebXML, and add a Shiro filter. This uses Inno Shiro filter from 110. I believe the latest version of Shiro has a newer one, but when I first did this demo, I was using 110. And you can see here this comment says that we're going to load Shiro INI from the class path. So since we're using Maven, we'll create a Shiro and INI file in source main resources. And this is basically it has four main sections main, users, roles, and URLs. Users has the name of our users and their roles. The roles are defined here, and then the URLs. OSC basic is for basic authentication. And in our pom.xml, we need to add a dependency for Shiro. So we'll have a dependency on core and web. Import our changes. And we still need to add a filter mapping for a security filter. So we'll do that right after our rewrite filter. And we make sure and secure both request and forward and include. Includes mostly for JSPs and forward is because the rewrite filter often makes pretty URLs and forwards to its resource. So now we stop and restart. Now we'll go to our user's URL and refresh. And one password prompts us. I'm going to cancel that. And we're going to use admin, admin. And now we're logged in. And the reason we see this logout link is because in our decorator, we look for remote user in the request. Provide that. Since it's basic authentication, that does not actually work. We're still logged in. So to fix that, I'm going to change to form-based authentication. Before I do that, I'd like to show you how to do SSL and to force SSL on that user's URL. It's pretty easy with Shiro. You might have seen before I had this SSL 8443 in there. So that's all that's required to do to force SSL on a URL with Apache Shiro. If you want to use the default port of 443, you can just eliminate that. So now if we stop and restart, when we try to hit that URL, it will redirect for us. And this is unlike Java EE security that we saw in the first demo, where Jetty actually wasn't capable of redirecting. So it's not part of the Java EE 6 spec that says you need to redirect if you know, confidentiality is, is required. So now if we try it again, going to localhost 8080 users, you can see here that we get an error because Jetty is not listening on 8443. So we'll go ahead and modify the Jetty configuration. to have listen on an SSL port 
I need to add a another plugin to generate the key store. So this is from Codehouse, the key store Maven plugin. Import changes. This generates key store in that directory, and then Jetty reads from it. Without that, Jetty won't start with SSL enabled. So now if we try again, we get prompted and you can see the URL is 8443HTTPS so it's forced to be there and to prove it I can try changing this back to 8080 and it'll redirect me to 8443 so nice little way of, of doing and handling HTTP and HTTPS for you now I'm going to change the form based authentication with Shiro and it's pretty easy. All you have to do is change it from auth C basic to auth C. And we already have a login.jsp in this project. And this one was used um, both for Java E security as well as Spring security. The main difference is there is no action on the form itself. And then you also need to basically tell Shiro to look for that page when it submits to itself to go to Aussie. Of course, you could also do something like J security check, um, but it's just easiest to do that login page. Now, if we go back to our browser, click on users. Now we have full control of our login page. We can enter admin admin and we can log in. And unlike before, we can actually log out now because it's not using basic authentication. The next thing I'd like to do is show you with Shiro how you connect to a database instead of talking to a file like this one. So in this file, I'm going to add database configuration information. So this is a JDBC realm that we're creating. It talks to a user's table and a user password. And it selects role names. And you can see we talked to a MySQL data source. And it's app fuses just because I happen to have it installed. And like the last demo I talked about um, where Spring Security is able to talk to an H2 database um, because it's in process, it worked fine. Um, this is similar to Java EE, and if I try to talk to the H2 database on my file system, I get an error because two different processes are trying to talk to it. So next we have encryption for passwords. The SHA-256 matcher points to a Shiro class, and we can set it on our realm so it uses that for encryption by doing realm name dot credentials matcher. And then I'll go ahead and create the tables in my database, users table, user roles table, and then we'll insert a user and a role into those. Okay, if we go to our users table, you can see that it's in there. One thing you want to be careful of when you're doing this and creating the tables is that your user password has enough characters to actually fit in the column. Now if we start up our server, now if I try to log in, prompted for the SSL certificate and I can log in with admin admin JDBC voila so this has been a demo of Apache Shiro I think you've been able to see that the configuration is quite a bit simpler than Java EE 6 or Spring Security mostly because it's all just contained in this text file that doesn't require any XML 
I don't have any slides about Apache Shiro itself explaining things I don't like about it or why you might not want to use it. That's mainly because I haven't used it as much as Spring Security and Java EE 6 Security. I did notice that it is a new project at Apache. It's only been there for about eight months now since October of 2010 and it hasn't quite got the traction that something like Spring Security has. It used to be called JSecurity and it was hosted somewhere else um, but it's very well known for its cryptography um, and it's it's often used outside of Java web frameworks or web frameworks in general so it does have um, a lot of things in there that you can use and so I expect it to grow I expect a lot more Apache projects to start to use it and uh, you know becoming better so I encourage you to try it out and uh, let the community know if it's if it's not working for you and thanks for watching